The Lucky Hunter. A long time ago, there lived a hunter called Dombe in a village. Dombe went on hunting to a mountain every day with his gun. However, Dombe was not good at shooting guns, and he had rarely shot prey before. One day, Dombe saw a big bird that was resting on a tree branch. Oh. I found a prey pretty quickly today. What a lucky day! He pointed his gun to the bird and pulled the trigger. However, the bullet that he fired went flying in the wrong direction. It had passed right through the tree branch that the bird was resting on. Then. Bounced off a few trees and eventually hit a wild boar in the bottom, who was sleeping in a grass field. The boar got very angry and dashed towards Dombe. Help me! Dombe ran desperately and climbed up a tree that was in front of him. The boar crashed into the tree and lost his consciousness. Oh wow! I shot aiming at a bird, but somehow I caught a boar. Again, what a lucky day! Dombe tied the boar tight around his back using a rope to carry it. Good, good. I should go home now and drink some sake. Then Dombe came across a river on his way back to home. There was no bridge there, but a fat tree trunk lied across the river. He had easily crossed the trunk in the morning. However, it was difficult carrying a boar on his back. He walked very carefully along the trunk. Just about when he came to the midway of trunk, he slipped and fell into the river. Ah! Ah! Someone, please help me! Dombe was drowning, but he managed to get to the bank. Oh my God! I thought I was going to die. <sighs> He got out of the river. However, there was a rustling noise coming out from his clothes. He wondered and checked inside his clothes. Then there was a huge cod fish. Oh, oh my God! This is crazy. Today is actually a really lucky day. Dombe climbed down the mountain with a boar and a cod fish, and then he walked past the front lawn of a rich elder's house. Then there stood the rich elder with his arms crossed. Hello, how are you? Did something happen? Oh, hi, Dombe! Just about time. You see that flock of crows up there on the roof? They cry from the morning to evening. I can't stand the noise anymore. So, would you be able to shoot them off using your gun? Dombe didn't know what to do. There is no way that Dombe will actually hit a crow with his skills. I'm so sorry, Elder. 
This gun got wet on the way here, and I won't be able to use it for a while. I see. Then I'll lend you a bow and arrows we have. Could you please just wait here for a moment? The elder brought a bow and arrows from his house. Dombe could not reject an elder's request, so he had to try and shoot the crows. He pointed the arrow to the crow, then released it. Then the arrow went flying in an unexpected direction. Oh no! What am I going to do? He thought. But the next moment, <coughs> they heard a man's screaming voice somewhere from the distance. So they quickly ran over where the voice came from, and there was a man flipped over inside a sake cellar, under the window. He was a thief who sneaked into the elder's house. The arrow Dombe shot was piercing through the bag that the thief was carrying. Oh, great job, Dombe! Such amazing skill pretending to shoot the crows, but hitting a thief. The wealthy elder was very happy and praised Dombe very highly. How does this sound? Would you marry my daughter and become my inheritor? Dombe was so pleased and happy. Oh, oh my God! I am actually really, really lucky. Dombe got together with the elder's daughter, and they lived happily ever after.